Hello, hello. Super excited to show you the mobile version of the new Express Lister on the List Perfectly Pro plan. Pro Plus plan. All the P's, but it's the biggest plan that has all the stuff, yet costs the same as the Pro plan. Um, so on my phone here, we are going to use the link that I had shared from List Perfectly or saved. I saved it as a shortcut on my desktop, and I'll make another video about that. It's going to automatically bring me to my listings. And on that bottom row right there on the left side is called Express Listing. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And there are things that you can customize in here so that you can add like brand and material and things like that. Um, and you can do that on a desktop. So I'll share another link about that. Here on your mobile, you are going to share your photos, download the photos that you want to use. So, and it goes by the first six. So this is going to give you a title, a description, tags, so that you can have those hashtags for the sites that like them. Um, and it goes by the first six. So I'm going to add all the photos that I have, whoops, of this item. It's going to upload them into my listing. And this listing is just constantly saving. Like every couple seconds, it's saving a draft. So if at any point your phone crashes, you exit out of it, you take a phone call, you, I don't know, go take a nap. I don't know, whatever you're going to do, it is saved in your drafts automatically. So you don't have to worry about that part. You'll never lose a, a listing that you're working on ever again. Now, like I said, it's that first six. So the first photo is going to be your main photo for the listing. And then the first six are the ones that you want to make sure that the AI is going to be grabbing and making your title and your description and all those things. Dragging, not going to lie, dragging and dropping the photos on here is a little glitchy, but they're working on so many things. This just came out a few weeks ago and the extra fields and customizations just came out a couple days ago. So very fresh, very new, but utterly amazing when it comes to the fact that it is writing your listing for you. It's writing it for you guys. All right. So I want to make sure that my measurements are in the first six and I'm actually going to put that one up there. All right, I think that's good. My first six look good. So then all I'm going to do is up at the top here with that orange listing assistant and see how it says it was just saved. That orange listing assistant button, you are going to click that. It is going to say, we, you know, make sure that your images have labels, brand, size, that kind of stuff. Mine did. It will pick up the measurements, guys, the measurements in my photo. And if you are one of those people that, you know, you're taking pictures of a vase and you have your tape measure next to it, or even on your clothing, you lay your tape measure across, it's going to pick that up. Might not be as accurate as me writing them on my little whiteboard. However, it is going to pick them up. You can tweak them. It's, it's pretty darn accurate. It's pretty great. So I have this set to a professional tone. There are so many tones in here that you can pick. Um, you can have a funny listing. You can have it be short and, you know, tell a story, all kinds of stuff. You get a thousand of these each month. They're, they're trying that for now. I mean, who knows how much everybody will use, but a thousand is darn good. Um, and then you're going to hit launch listing assistant. It's going to take those first six photos and the fact that I want a professional tone in my listing. And I have never had it fail before. I'm probably talking too much and clicking too many buttons. We're going to hit her again. And it's going to create that title, the description. And again, you can tweak it. So let's scroll down. So it gave me a 42 character title. You can add, you can change, you can do whatever you want. It put in the brand, the pattern, the type of top it was, and the size. So you can add things. Like I want to add that this is a women's plus. I like to put in there, um, you know, cherry red shirt, floral dolman. So yeah, you can add things to that. And then it gave me a nice little short um, sentence there, some bullet points. And like I said, it took my measurements from my photo 
and it added them in there. It added them. And then on the bottom, it usually as well, it reiterates the measurements um, in this way. It puts it in different a different format. If you play with all the different, like if you keep, you can keep re running this, you can be like, mm, professional is kind of weird. I don't really like it. You can hit it again. You can change to maybe you want it to be more wordy. Let's try that. You can change it and do it as many times as you want. It is going to take away one of your um, attempts every time it generates for you. But I mean, we're playing with it. We're trying it out. So that's fine. Let's see what it says now. So it added some extra sentences, made it a little bit more wordy, a couple more bullet points. Yeah. And I mean, you can change this. If you don't want it to promise comfort and a flattering fit, you can take that out of there for sure. But it definitely gives you a lot to work with. You can tweak it as needed. And then you just add a price. Whoops. You add a price. You can make a skew. It's got keywords. And it's automatically a draft. And to save that, you just click that orange button down at the bottom. Boom, you're on to the next one. And if you want to view it, you go into your listings. You go up top here to draft. And this is the listing that we just made. And you can go in and edit it and tweak it as you need. I, I edit the quantity and like my dimensions and weight. And then I cross list. Like it's it's so quick and easy. And the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. But this is making your listings for you. Go in, try it out. It's on mobile. I have another video on doing it on your desktop. You can start it on mobile. You can go to your drafts on desktop. You can, however works for you, it's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Go check it out.